welcome back to my channel. So this is just kind of a random video, but I've just been feeling kind of emotional lately and a lot of little things have been kind of happening during this pregnancy that I thought, I feel like this is kind of important to my journey and my process. Um, and for anybody out there that is going through a pregnancy after loss, like these are the things that I'm thinking and going through right now as I enter my third trimester. So right now I'm in my daughter's nursery and I'm just gonna kind of like verbally vomit on you. Some of the things that have been going on, I just had an ultrasound today. Um, our C-section is scheduled. I have some like really special little items here in the room that I wanna show you too. So this is just gonna be kind of like a mishmash of things. Um, let me show you what I'll look like. Oh my gosh. I'm really starting to get big. I still don't look as big as I did with Davin at the end when he was 26 weeks when he passed. And even my sister said like, I'm moving totally differently. I guess I moved better when I was with him. Physically, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm having like some sciatic pain and I have to pee a lot more, but nothing like to complain about there. Um, emotionally, I've been doing really good up until uh, really just like the last day or two. I just feel like I've been emotional. Like, like it's probably hormones. Um, but like I said, just a lot of different things happening. So the first thing is that, flip the camera on. Um, the first thing is that our C-section is scheduled and I just mentioned that in my last video and it's eight weeks away. So it's kind of crazy to be at this point where I'm like now counting down the weeks and it's, I just, I, I did a post today after my ultrasound, which went really great by the way. Um, my post just said something like, I just, it's kind of crazy. Like having my first baby been a stillborn. I feel like a mom in my heart, my soul, but physically like my life hasn't changed much. Um, and so like everything that we've been doing so far to get ready for Jolie just kind of feels like what it was like with Davin. I mean, obviously very different pregnancies because he was sick. Jolie's been perfect and healthy, but um, I love my children. I love Davin. I love Jolie, but I never met Davin alive and I haven't met Jolie alive yet. So like my brain only associates pregnancy with pregnancy there's no like the end result isn't bringing a baby home alive so um, now that we're counting down and we actually have the c-section scheduled like it's just it feels very surreal and um, I, I don't even know how I'm gonna feel when I get to take her home it's just this is just crazy so that's been kind of emotional um, when I put this, like when I literally typed C-section on the calendar in my phone, I like got this flood of emotions and I teared up and stuff. So yeah, I'm starting to feel a little nervous about that, but also obviously very excited. But I wanna show you a couple of other things that I have going on in the room that have just been kind of making me emotional slash like remind me of Davin or um, yeah, just stuff I wanted to kind of like share with you guys. So we have more stuff hung up in the room and this awesome like little picture wall happening over here. And people have been sending me things from my registry, which is so amazing. It's so much fun, especially like with COVID right now being on lockdown. Like it's just like a nice little pick me up. Who doesn't love to receive gifts? But of course it just makes me feel like so loved and like so thought of. This little book showed up. And again, it's something that I picked out from my registry. This bunny is Davin's uh, little bunny. So I have his big bunny with his ashes in it his heartbeat but they gave me this in the hospital as a gift so I have a lot of photos of him with this and the brand is Jelly Cat and I just love I think all of their animals are super whimsical they're very similar to the heavenly hugs that I make with my nonprofit I just love like the body shape and stuff so this little bunny has a special meaning for me I travel with it when I don't take my big bunny and Jelly Cat brand came out with this book and I didn't actually like know what was inside it I'm gonna show you the pages because it's just so precious. My friend Kim got me this and it's just so touching. I'll probably cry as I like show you it. So it has a little boy holding the bunny deep in the night when your eyes are shut, when you've drunk all your bottle and you're safely tucked up. You might think the bunny does just the same, snoring big and loud like an old steam train. But when you close your eyes, there's no need to fright because bunny's job is to keep you safe at night. When mommy has kissed you on your sweet head, Bunny takes over to guard you in bed. 
He isn't scared of a bump or a noise or a creak because Bunny is brave and won't dare go to sleep. He will rub your hair and sing you a song he knows your mommy will be in before very long. She will throw open the curtain and greet you good morning. That's when Bunny gets tired and starts his big yawning. It is tiring keeping you safe at night, making sure you sleep well and are tucked up tight. So when you jump up from your bed, you leap. Bunny lies down, like you now, falls fast asleep. I just think that's so cute because it's like Davin's little bunny keeping her safe. And I do have, I realize like there's a lot of bunnies happening here. Um, Cause I do have this bunny, which I showed you before um, that a friend got me, which looks very similar to the one in the book. I have Davin's bunny downstairs, his big bunny. And then I also registered for a jelly cat brand bunny that's actually named Jolie and it has a little dress on it and it's super whimsical and it totally matches the theme in here. So I know that that's coming too from my friend Kim. So Jolie's got a lot of bunnies and she has to share with me. I think I'll keep Davin's bunnies and she has her own little bunnies now too. Oh my gosh. That's my cat in the curtain by the way. Hey. Hey. Oh, so a couple of other things. So I ordered my robe and matching swaddle. I feel like that's also another thing was like emotional for me. We had just began talking about Davin's birth. I didn't get to really plan any of that because I had read about palliative care. I did pick out a special little swaddle for him. But you know, this is just kind of the trendy thing to do right now is to get these like matching swaddles and gowns for the mom. So I'm just praying that this whole COVID thing goes away in the next, eight weeks so that I can actually have a photographer come in and have photos of all of us together. If nothing else, I may grab a nurse and make her take some pictures of us together. Um, me, Jolie and Clark. But um, yeah, I, I'm also gonna, let me just show you these swaddles because they're super, they're super nice. Like, I come out of breath. I feel like I'm talking funny. This is pregnancy brain. So I actually, you would think like one company would be enough. Um, I actually got the robe and swaddle from two different companies. Obviously, I didn't even take this out of the, out of here yet, but I just loved this one so much. It has these like beautiful, like classy looking roses um, with the matching headband, and it's super, super soft. So it's like a full size swaddle. I didn't like the light pink for me though. I felt like I wanted this mauvey color. So this is posh peanut. And I got this one from Caden Lane. And let me just like, I'm literally gonna put this on for you. It is so cozy. It's like, it kind of has like a heft to it. So it hangs really nice. It's super soft. Um, I did just wash it. It's a little wrinkly, so I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to put it on a steam press or something to get the wrinkles out. But hold on, let me just like set this down for a second. Okay, two of my favorite things about this robe is it has this button that like goes deep into it. So that's nice that it like, you know, is always gonna stay closed. Um, and then the other one comes around and it actually wraps up all the way around. And then it would just tie, I don't know if you're supposed to tie in the front or the back, but I like, when I put this one before, I pulled that to the front. Okay, I'm trying to record and do this. Okay, that's what I did. And then I just like tied it right there. So I feel like it's, a great color on me and um, it's gonna like totally match the room when I have her in here and yeah it's just like super cozy and comfortable so can't say enough about that I bought this this isn't like a paid advertisement I'm just saying I love it so much so I'm super happy with that I do think that I might get her another headband to match that swaddle maybe more of like um, a mauve like actual flower headband that would match my robe a little bit more. And then another thing is over here, this was another gift. This is like this teeny, I don't know if you can see how I, how tiny it is on my hand, but it's this teeny tiny newborn um, onesie lace thing. My sister joked that it was like lingerie, but it's basically um, just for a photo shoot. I'll show you what it looks like, like on a baby from when I ordered it. But yeah, it's just like this super cute little lace onesie and I'm going to find a, um, I'm thinking like a pearl headband or 
Maybe like a gold headband. I don't know what you think. If you have an idea, maybe put a link in the comments. Um, her headband collection is looking a little sparse. I still need to get some more of those. I have registered for that though. And then I'm not gonna put any pictures in any of these until I have my maternity photos and stuff taken again. If I can't do that with COVID, I'm just gonna take my camera and somebody's gonna stand six feet from me and take them for me. So yeah, those are the emotional things for me lately. I think also too, like I've been doing a lot more work um, in the last week or so with Our Baby's Legacy, which is the nonprofit that I created for pregnancy and infant loss. I've made so many different animals. We're working on two more cuddle cots. A good friend of mine, she just celebrated her son's first birthday in heaven. Um, another mom reached out to me. She's experiencing loss right now. So there's just so much stuff going on in that world that um, it's difficult to be part of sometimes when you are pregnant because it just reminds you that like loss continues to happen. Um, but it's how I like live out Davin's legacy. So that's been kind of emotional too. Just like all of these things preparing for Jolie's birth and it feeling so real and yet like my brain can't completely compute. That's my cat. Now she's under there. That's Jess. Oh, and let me show you one other thing you probably saw in my last video already is on this wall I did like a little um, homage to Davin so if you saw my tattoo video there's a quote that um, talks about wildflowers and butterflies it just really comforted me especially when I first lost Davin so I just put that little bit it's like really subtle in the room, I mean, there's not a lot of color, which is what I like, but it's that like one little area above her headbands. Look at that chubby girl. Hey. So that's it. That's just what I wanted to share with you guys. But thank you for watching. As always, leave me comments, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.